It's in the... W- anyway, this is uh, IUIC New Orleans, former title is former Hebrew Israelite ready to fight for Esau. So I'm listening to it, and uh, they got to get their facts together, man. You know, just, see, you guys that follow the IUIC, you get the precept pack, precept packets and you memorize stuff and you don't study stuff. You don't you're not like the church of Berea. You know? Anyway, this listen listen to this. This is eleven minute eleven minutes in, eleven minutes two seconds in, and then I'm gonna stop it and have a nice little laugh. But then they'll get their act together. Just like you guys were teaching. You came to these guys these individuals, new I U I C New Orleans, and bre- pull, uh, pulled up the subject or brought up the subject uh hell, whether we burn in hell for other ever. If you went to their camp hmm, three months ago, four months ago, they would say the lake of fire is hell and Israelites are going to burn in hell too. But now they had to change it because we hear a great millstone been putting up counter videos that there's no such place as hell. The lake of fire is America on fire. We did a couple of videos on it, myself and others, other diligent brothers in GMS. Not no regular brothers in GMS, diligent brothers and GMS put up videos. You should know who they are. Anyway, um, we did a handful of videos debunking what the IUIC said concerning hell, that there's a place where Edomites burn in hell forever, and especially Israelites. You, so you got a grandmother, you got your auntie, your moms, your sons, your daughters, your, your, wa- your wife that don't believe. They're all going to burn in hell forever. Trillion years, that's the second to the most high. That's just the beginning. That's a warm-up. First trillion years. You're going to be ooing and iron for trillions and trillions of years in, in, in intense heat. So just recently, about a month and a half, two months ago, uh, Bishop Nate, um, he was on a show in South Africa with this woman podcast, uh, whatever, and I did videos on that where the question, what he the subject came up about the lake of fire, and he said the lake of fire is America on fire when the missiles hit it. Not in those exact words. So instead of him saying I went, went off, GMS was right, he, he knows, see, we're his conscience, man. So now they got to straighten up something else, again, other than cutting their hair. Most of these guys, look at this brother. Look at as long as hair is. But they, don't, they can't see 1 Corinthians chapter 11. They'll say, well, that's if you wear it in a feminine way. So these guys are always trying to put a square dowel in a square peg. They'll break it to make it fit in there. That's what they, that's what they do. That's what they do. So this is another one that they got caught him slipping. <laughs> this is another one that they go off. That's why you can't just, um, you know, read a precept, read the breakdown, and regurgitate it. You have to meditate upon these scriptures. And that's something that these individuals do not do. I mean, not getting on these guys solely because I don't know these brothers. Some of them could be be uh, sincere. Some of them could be the elect. You know, we don't know. But this is you. You can't follow a man. This is not the gospel of a uh, uh, bishop. Bishop Nate. This is not his gospel, man. Okay, if you were following the true way of being an Israelite, first of all, you would know is the first thing you say, well, what's his name? I've been in the church for X amount of years. I call on Jesus, God and Jesus, Jesus Christ. So what's his name? His name is God and Jesus Christ. That's a red flag right there. It, true Israelites teach the true name of the Most High, Yahweh, son's name, Yahweh Shai. They don't teach that. When they close this thing down, they'll say, Most High Christ, bless, following this guy. So listen, this is another thing that they would have to uh, straighten out. Listen up, listen up, listen up. Who is Edom? Read. Verse 2. Esau is of the daughters of Cain. Wait, Esau dwelt in Mount Seir? Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 36, verse 8. Was Esau in the Mount of Seir? It said, thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. You ever heard of Mount Seir? It's in it's in the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Right. They dwell. What does this look like? Come come close. Tell me what it looks like. Did you hear that? So Mount Seir is no longer in Jordan. They packed up 
You know how they get them big trucks and they take a house and they put the house on the truck. They got a car in front of it called wide, it says wide load. And they get on down the highway. And then they drop the, the house in a new a new place, new country or whatever, new new state. Well, that's what I guess that's what the Esau did overnight. He took Mount Seir and he said, Let's let's truck it on up to uh to the Caucasus Mountains. Do you know how far the Caucasus Mountains are from uh, Jordan? So let, let me listen, let me listen to this again. They caught him slipping. Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 36, verse 8. Oh, wow. Let's soak Esau in the Mount of Seir. It said, Thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. You ever heard of Mount Seir? It's in it's in the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Right. They dwell. What does this look like? Come come close. Tell me what it looks like. Like, uh, like a castle. Or like a castle. Like like what? It look, it look kind of like this. Yeah. Or, or kind of like that. Right right right. The same people built this. Right. So these people right here are called Esau in the Bible. Right. Right. I don't have control over their salvation. Right. God has control right. over their right. salvation. Right. 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 If I think what I think, it don't matter. But if I could read in the Bible that he has no salvation, who's that on? Is that me or is that God? Because did we have a problem when God destroyed Egypt? Bring it up. Bring it up. When we look back, the ten plagues of Egypt, right? right. We don't say that that was wrong, right. do we? When we look back on the fact that they use our babies right here in St. John the Baptist Parish. Mm -hmm. Break it up! Break it up! Oh, I'm sorry. This is a violation. Leviticus 19.27. This is clear violation of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Paul said, not for a man, it's a shame for a man to have long hair. So they're just doing what they want to do. The gospel according to Nate. So let's listen to this again. So you so you don't say I'm putting words in their mouth. Well, he didn't say that to all. You got to listen to it again. Okay, we'll listen to it t again. Since you These are the generations of Esau. Who is Edom? Read. Verse 2, Esau took his wives of the daughters of Canaan. Where it said Esau dwelt in Mount Seir? Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 36, verse 8. The Lord yes. sold Esau in the Mount of Seir. It said, Thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. You ever heard of Mount Seir? It's in it's in the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Right. They dwell. What does this look like? Come come close. Tell me what it looks like. Uh, like, a like, like a castle? Like like what it look, look kind of like this? Yeah. Or, or kind of like that? Right, right, right. The same people built this. Right. So these people right here are called Esau in the Bible. Right, right. I don't have control over their salvation. Right. God has control right, over their right, salvation. Right. Yeah, so you heard it. You heard it two times. In case you jumped up and went to the bathroom or, you know, the computer, there was a distortion in the sound. You heard what they said. They said Mount Seir, and that's Petra, by the way. Mount Seir is, uh, is in the Caucasus Mountains. You know what I'm going to do? Let me come over here and give you an idea where Mount Seir is. Uh, let me see right here. Right here, let me just go back to the world map. I'm gonna cut this short. Come on now. Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus Mountains is right here. Right over here, Caucasus Mountains, between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. That's the Caucasus Mountains. That's why you got Edomites, took this out. Macedon is uh, it's in Greece. Macedon, Corinth, that's all, that, this is where Esau took. That's why Edomites came out of here, because they were up in here. Some of them stayed down in Mount Seir, which is right here. 
Now let me see. Let me see something. Okay, that's a thousand miles. That this from here to here is a thousand miles. So we're talking. We're talking well over a thousand miles. Thousand miles and some change. About a thousand miles, give or take a couple of hundred. Mount Seir is about a thousand miles away from the Caucasus Mountains. Petra is in Jordan. Right around where East. So if you say that that's they, they don't study, they don't check things. They, they like I said, their mass is at regurgitation. The head the leadership says something and they go ahead and follow. That's why I said if you roll up on these dudes six months ago about the lake of fire, they'll say, Well, you gonna burn in hell. And see, you ain't gonna you brother, you gonna burn in hell too. That's that's why that's why we say, look, you gotta be in the spirit of the church of Berea. If you're not in the spirit of the church of Berea, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get got, so to speak. Anyway, with that I'm gonna say shalom on to the next one, shalom.